we will make two different uh, video sessions, one for the beginners and one for the more advanced. Beginners are considered guys who started and, and girls who started this year and are white, yellow or orange belts and the more advanced guys will be the green belts and higher. <clears throat> a typical lesson plan will comprise of the following. We will do a stretch, warm up exercise, a judo exercise, a judo technique and afterwards we will do our vocabulary. Um, so the first lesson, the, the stretching exercise that we're doing is for our sides. So we go put our hand over our head and go down and keep it there for 10 counts. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The exercise we're going to do, we're going to use a lot of shoulder power, so we must warm up our shoulders. So we do 10 counts here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A more difficult exercise for our arms is the one hand forwards and one hand backwards. 10 counts, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the other way. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see I also get confused. Right, so that is our little warm-up exercises. Now our specialized judo exercise is judo push-ups, or some guys call it Japanese push-ups. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than a normal push-up, and it looks as follows. I stretch my legs nice and open, hands in front of me, and I go from the back to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So, after this, we are ready to start with our techniques, which will follow just now. Thank you. The special game today is all about balance. So, we're going to play a little game. It's very easy. You can play it in the house, and it is actually fairly safe. Nobody can get, in, get, can get injured. Right, so we lift our hands up and we try and get the other person to step by trying to push him uh, without my hands against his hands. So I try and do that and if he steps, then I get a point. Okay, he can also try and attack me. Okay, he comes and I take my hands away and if he steps, I get a point. Alright, so let's play it for a little bit. Alright, let's see. Okay, there he steps. Oh, okay, he's too strong for me. <laughs> Alright, so one each. Let's call it a draw. Our technique for the green belts and higher is called Juji Jime. Juji, juji means cross and Jime means strangulation. So we are doing strangulations. Um, judo players are actually very dangerous. But it's very safe if you do it in the right manner. And um, if you, my partner, my uki, feels his inner strangle, he can just pat. You will see twice, he pats me twice, then I let go. Don't try and be funny because that can be very dangerous then. Or my partner can also say, say, maita. Maita means I give up, then you let go. Never carry on if your partner gives up, that might be very dangerous. Right, so the strangulation is called Juji Jime. Juji means cross and Jime is, is strangulation. Um, and we've got three uh, different Juji Jimes. We've got Kayaku Juji, and it's very easy to remember. Kayaku starts with the G, give, Kayaku G. Then the next one is Nami, no, I don't want. And Kata, I don't know if I want or if I do not want. Right, so that is how we remember it in a very simple manner. So if Andrew lies on his back, 
This triangulation looks like this. Kayaku uh, Jujijime, both fingers, both hands, fingers inside, thumbs outside, go down, pull, and when he feels the strangle is on, he gives up. Right. Then if I do Nami, Nami, no, that means both thumbs will be inside, this thumb in, see that I put my hands deep inside the collar, behind his ears, go forward, and pull, and he gives up. And then Kata, I don't know. One up, one down. So fingers inside, fingers outside, down and up. All right, and that is the three different Juji Jimes, the cross strangulations. Now we're going to do applications, how to uh, use this in a competition setup. The first one I'm going to show is when he's standing on his hands and knees. Okay, so I stand next to him by his one arm, my hand closest to his head goes from the top inside the collar, the other hand goes from the belt underneath inside as close as possible to the other hand, see my thumbs are touching as close as possible to each other, then I put my leg out, I go lie on my, sit on my bum first, lie on my back, roaming over, get up, and there's the strang strangulation. Juji Jime, and this will be Gayaku because my hands were like this. Alright, the second one is very similar. Um, I used to do this in competition and it's very strong. I like this one and that's why I'm showing it. Same starting position from the side, hands underneath, and then from the top, thumbs close to each other. But now I roll forward, I put my head between his arms and I roll it over me. Get up and there's a very strong strangulation and a hold down and he gives up and I let go. Right, and the last uh, application of Juji Jime is from between the legs. Alright, um, so I put the one hand on the inside, um, uh, fingers inside, other hand on the outside, and this is a Kata Juji Jime because it's like I don't know. Pull him close to me and strangle and he gives up. And that is Kata Jujijime. Right. So this is um, the practical for today for the green belts and higher. And what we're doing is the Judo South Africa blue belt syllabus. We're doing the groundwork part, the Newaza part. And we concentrate on Shimiwaza, which is strangulations. So I hope you can remember all these words. Luckily, on the TV, you can rewind and forward, rewind and forward. And um, I'll see you next week again. Have a very nice day. Our three words for the advanced group are head, shoulder, and chest. Head is atama, shoulder is kata, chest is mune. I repeat, atama, kata, Mune. Thank you.